Vermont, we defy all the world. Then cheer, cheer the Green Mountaineer. Then cheer, cheer. I need my soul to scream out. All right, so as you can see from the signs, it's time to start uh, reading the signs and in between the lines. And uh, it's Sunday, it's March 22nd, it's about a little after one, and my previous video just loaded, and I just did a quick glance at some of the comments. Not all of them, because my internet on my phone is so terribly horrible, but anyways, uh, most of them were good, and uh, one of the things that's going to start happening, I'm going to talk a little bit after the break about uh, why I made this sign is that uh, I talked to you yesterday about how this time is just hard and you can have all the experience in the world you can have a great intellectual grasp of what's happening uh, but this is the kind of experience when it's an intense crisis is it really brings within yourself an emotional response. You cannot intellectualize yourself out of this kind of moment in time. And without understanding what you're really feeling and what your deep beliefs are and uh, what you're getting pointed towards, uh, it can be even harder. So I wanted to just do a quick, sort of quick, uh, overview about uh, why this is really hard, even if you do understand what's happening, even if you were in charge of everything that was happening. This is complex and uh, big in very many ways. So we're going to take a deep breath. We're going to hold on to our calm. Uh, and I'm going to see you on the other side. So uh, as I promised you yesterday, I want to try to check in more often. And uh, so this morning, uh, like so many of you, I got up and I'm like, what do the headlines say? Where is the country going? What is the decision of the day? And right now on this March 22nd in the middle of the day, uh, what I'm hearing is that tonight might be a night where they decide to do a lockdown. And uh, we already have an informal one that's happening. Uh, we're already being uh, conditioned with headlines to be locked down and uh, you know there's nothing like that that sends the hackles up my spine but it's also extremely depressing because I'm out here trying to work on my horse trailer and become mobile so I can leave and I keep bumping into issues that I can't go get what I need you know there's a lot of limitations and so uh, it's an extremely frustrating experience and so I just want to highlight that just because you understand something intellectually doesn't mean that you're not going to have an emotional response and the problem isn't the emotional response the problem problem is, is if you get stuck there so it's really important to just acknowledge that you're going to be a little or a lot all over the place. And uh, one of the things we tend to do, is, especially when relationship or family, is that there tends to be partners two extremes. One person over functions, one person under functions. Uh, the way that we're wired, some people shut down in a crisis, some people perk up. Uh, some people become very compliant and some people sort of lean back and <laughs> don't tell me what to do. So we all have an emotional response based on some internal wiring uh, that if you're older you should have a handle on because you've watched and observed yourself but if you've got kids you kind of have a sense of where they are you know with authority with crisis with stress uh, but this is one big fat stress response that doesn't have an end date to it which makes it very very challenging and uh, we're also in a time of great censorship. And so uh, a lot of what I talk about is uh, asking you to read between the lines and to understand the symbology or the metaphor without my just coming out and saying it. So uh, if you don't know what this means, uh, if you don't know that means down, and if you don't know this is a lock, uh, then this isn't the right channel for you. But um, I'm pretty much ready to just accept whatever at this point because uh, I still think the internet's going to probably go down by the end of this summer, if not early fall. 
Uh, and we're going to have to make some hard choices. So now is really the time to check in with yourself about where you are emotionally with all this. And you can't push yourself into what you want to feel. It's really important to acknowledge what you are feeling because it's only by getting all your energy synced up to where you are that you can sort of, okay, and then take a step in another direction. Uh, but when your energies are pushed in the wrong or against each other, uh, and right now most of us are pushing against what we don't want, uh, that's when you really get locked up and locked down. And so I, this morning, was trying to come up with a way that I could deal with it because like you, this is just not an option for me. I just do not want to enter into a future that says I can't go anywhere, I can't do anything, I have to just sit around and wait for somebody to tell me what to do. It's very different when you're personally dealing with something. It's an entirely different thing when you're being told how to deal with something. And if you were born in America, you have a lot probably of that uh, original spirit that founded this country in that it's don't tell me what to do. Uh, and so I was trying to decide how to think about that in a different way. And so uh, the decision I have, uh, you're gonna see this is blank, but I'm gonna add this. <laughs> uh, and that, oh, I'm gonna hold this, so I'm gonna add this. Uh, and what I'm doing is I am holding that headline in my own visualization and my own energy. Because uh, what this process means to me is that uh, I'm all about do no harm and love thy neighbor. So I'm never going to do something that's going to intentionally hurt somebody. And I'm willing to make compromises in order for the greater good. What I'm not willing to do is to submit without question and be told that resistance is futile. That's just not who I am. <laughs> so, because at the very, very end of the day, this is a fundamental character question. The question you are being asked is not, is this uh, bug real? Not is what is cause and what is effect? Uh, what you're being asked is who do you believe has authority over you as both human and spirit? And uh, this country was founded on the idea, America was founded on the idea that uh, it is between me and God to decide what my life is about and I will follow some general rules to keep civilization uh, civil. But there was no government or religion or inst institution or corporation or monarch or non-physical entity or alien or whatever you want to call it. There was nothing out in this world or in this universe that has the right to dictate whether I have permission to live or the right to live. Uh, government was established to protect our rights, not to give us our rights. Uh, and most people will respond with respect when they're given respect. Uh, but you put a few of us with our backs up against the wall and that might be a whole nother story. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to touch base, give you something to think about because uh, this is a very s stressful time. It creates an acute emotional response. Some people blunt and don't want to feel anything, but uh, especially in relationships and families, the dynamics become very complex because uh, that psychology is being worked itself out in a group as opposed to just what's happening with you personally. So it's really important to remember that we're all doing the best that we can. Having an emotional response uh, that's negative is super normal because, uh, like you, I'm totally frustrated by everything I can't do even though I was just so close. <laughs> Uh, and I refuse to, to just submit to this idea that I have no control over my future or my outcome. Uh, and the most powerful thing I can do is focus and manage my energy on what I want. And what I see in my mind is lockdown lifted because uh, I will not just sit here and live in a submissive state. Uh, you can submit my body, but you cannot submit my mind, my heart, and my spirit. Uh, and that is who I am. And so I invite you to just spend a few moments deciding 
who you are. Recognizing that human response is normal, uh, emotional fear, emotional processing is necessary. But at the end of the day, this is the question. Who are you giving your power and your authority to? To an outside entity or what lies within you and that which created you? And uh, it may not change the outcome that you experience, but the decision itself is what's being fundamentally asked of you. And so, as we move forward, <laughs> uh, until they kick me off, I may have to be a little covert in how I describe things, but uh, if you can read between the lines and you can listen and watch the symbols and understand what's being said, not just by me, but by others, uh, you'll go a lot further in this process. And with that, we're going to take a deep breath. We're going to remember who we really are, not being told who we are. And I, my friends, will see you next time.